Hello Sydney, this is my first video for you. Um, I thought we would start with Edna and Harvey, uh, the breakout. There's two Edna and Harvey games, um, and I think this one's the first one in the series. It would make more sense if we play this one first and then the other one. Um, I played the other one first and that... I didn't get some of the references and things like that, and I was like, oh, who is Harvey? Like, I didn't really understand it. So, um, I think it's better that we start with this one. Um, and when I first played this one, I played it in German. I wanted to get better at my German. Um, I can't tell you if that helped, uh, but I do have a degree in German, Germanic studies, so... Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get this started. I did try to record this before. It didn't work. There was no audio. So I have to redo this. Uh, yeah. Let's get started. I really like this game. It's got just enough quirkiness and hilarious jokes. For me to like playing it again. It's a lot of fun. And the art is interesting too. I do want to say that I preferred the German voice acting. Um, Edna was more mischievous sounding than in than this Edna, the English Edna. Uh, they're both fine. I can't complain. I like the soundtrack too. Ha! Huh. <laughs> that's that's the real Cthulhu right there. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pah! Now we can play. Um, let's talk to Harvey. Um, hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Who the heck are you? Um, what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. So, Edna doesn't remember things. She's lost her memory. Um, she's got this talking stuffed animal that only she can talk to. Um, she's in the loony bin. She doesn't understand why. Uh, and yes, that's about it. My most generous Ooh. hosts have granted me a whole chair. Cow! Detachable chair legs! Junk from the discount furniture dealer! Aww. Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is! Link. And then... Smack. 
Oops. I broke my chair leg. Uh, yeah, baby. Let's trash the whole place. Um I don't really understand how she can break a chair leg like that. It must be some really cheap material. Um I do live under a rock, so I don't know if this is possible. Um, when I first played this, I did trash the whole place. I uh, ripped every single thing I could. Yes. Every single one that I could. Um, but I'm not going to do that this time. So. Hello? Don't worry. Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that <laughs> easily, that will hear. we? I don't understand. Hey. Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Just laugh. Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? I do think... This guard's voice actor is better than the German one, but I can't remember the German one. But this guy, <laughs> he's so annoying. I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right, she isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple, the both of you. <laughs> Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... later. Okay. I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Love it. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. A technique. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I, well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. He has a mini golf technique that he uses while he guards. <sighs> mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. Ah, uh, yes, there is. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Here we go. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Ah, oh, come on. You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast. Yep. That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. 
Could I poke him with my bare feet? Could I teleport? Could I talk to dolphins? Could I hold my breath for 10 minutes? Could I juggle burning chainsaws? I think if you're a kid and you can juggle burning chainsaws, that would be pretty cool. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that, but a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost, but you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo. And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past. Cool. Tempo morph. Okay, so now you take Harvey and you click on the screw. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Uh, what exactly do you mean by tempo morph? Does that hurt? Will my body be split into molecules? And beam backward through time? Something like that. Nice. Yippee! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. Here we go. So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was Albert, or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh, no. You better believe it. He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa. But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. All right. Can you reach the window with a rake? Hmm. This almost sounds like it could work. I could give it a try, if you let me. Almost, almost, go. Pick this up, and then use it. Oh wow, amazing. Okay. Um, Edna, will you help me up there, just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. Give her the sun, he'll say, Oh, oh it's there's somebody sitting day. there. The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right, hey, isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the Just head of the asylum. Edna had to betrayal. play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it. How dare they! This little dork. Anyways, if you drop the sun, then he'll say, oh, it's a nice day outside, and then she's like, oh, I'm stuck in the basement. And then if you ask about the rain barrel, 
he'll say, do you remember this? And she's like, yeah, why? And he's like, just curious. And then the locked door. Um, um, I'm gonna say, can I get in that way? And she says, no. And then this is, can I ask the neighbors? And she says, what, you? A rabbit? And he's like, good point. Um, it, that just takes up a lot of time, which is why I'm telling you that now. Uh, because no thanks. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away. Mattis, your father, your own flesh and blood, is sitting together with Alfred Marcel, Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes! How dare they? I can't believe it! My father prefers that sleazebag over me? <laughs> Something must be truly rotten here. Edna, Edna, Edna! Uh, you won't believe what's in the paper! You're finally allowed to rhyme easel and brush? Um, yes. About time. Now I can finally finish my poem about the weasel in the underbrush. So that article had a bunch of things saying that now you can rhyme words that don't rhyme with each other. So. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again! Oh no! Not again! Last time he took three trees in our street alone. Oh Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed off toenail. Really? How? Hmm. A knot off toenail shouldn't be hard to come by. Don't pick it off. Ma'am. And now? What? 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 Ugh. What? That was gross. That was a gross sound. That's I've just... read that a left handed person got stabbed with a right handed pair of scissors. Isn't that peculiar? <laughs> I think somebody's trying to make a point. Anyways, she bit off one of her toenails. And now you're supposed to use that to... I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. I no. can't believe it! No. It really did work! <laughs> no. The match isn't held by the panel anymore. Uh, I can just open the door. Well, this really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, not yet. about to come back to me i'm sorry this was all i could remember at least you learned how to loosen screws right thanks harvey where would i be without you okay here we go oh i don't like that crunch Ugh, i don't understand how this works with the toenail okay it doesn't make sense. And how many toenails does she have left? Okay. Let's go back. Thank you. I'm gonna talk to this guy again. Hey! Hello! Well, sweetheart, what is it now? Don't call me sweetheart. I feel a little chilly now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you. And with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. I'll give you the different options that you can say here. Um, before we move on, I guess. Just so you can see, some of it is pretty funny. I think this may entertain you a little bit. Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane if you ever fall for that one? 
What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah. Very clever. That's a valid question. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. <laughs> I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I need to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun <laughs> is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside, <laughs> but you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. You say dizzy or chilly, then you'll just talk about it sucks for you. I'm not changing it. I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? <laughs> I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you. Is that a threat, sir? Mini golf? Oh no. I'm getting all one. dizzy. And with good you know what? I'll leave the AC running a little longer. You're not supposed to leave your fans in a sweat, after all. Huh. How hey. nice of you. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'd like to know. Well, have I? Yep. So it's the same thing. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Ooh, fancy. Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth. I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. True. Watch your mouth. Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? <laughs> ha! The whale has yet to be born. Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? <laughs> I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son titanium seven iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. For mini calls. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father-and-son relationships. Yes. My father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat. Just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway... Thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini golfer, I'm sure. Yep. I wonder if my father was a mini golfer, too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but mini golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father of mini golf. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? I don't know. He looks like he could mini golf. I think anyone can mini golf. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean! <laughs> <laughs> My poor father! Just you wait! Let's see if you're still laughing! 
when I turn the AC back on. Oh no. Thank you, sir. Now we can continue. Maybe I can pry the fan out of its casing with this. And... Ugh. That's good. <laughs> this Edna is a real challenge, Holgar. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, uh -huh. maybe we can listen in on what they're saying. What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. <laughs> yeah, this Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. So, I like this guy. He's in a very interesting position. Um, with his little spoon here. Not sure where his other hand went. But okay. Let's see. Can we go? No. Well, hello. We can look at the sun now. Freedom! Cut to shreds by the merciless bars of a grate. Dr. Marcel and Holger are gone. Good observation, honey. Dr. Marcel and Holger are gone. Well, here we go again. Bonk. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Heck yeah, girl. Um, oh, that's just my favorite thing. Well, actually, let's see what the pen is. A sleek aerodynamic pen. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a funny mustache? Nope. An old photograph of a boy playing. I think I know him from somewhere. It shows a boy who's smiling. I don't know him, but he's starting to annoy me. <laughs> Where's my offer again? That seems to be important. Now, what is this? That's my father right there in the picture. This article states my father is a murderer. That is a horrendous lie! <laughs> 41 year old Mattis Conrad turned himself into the authorities in the wee hours of today. <laughs> Even though he readily confessed having murdered an eight year old boy whose name has not been released for matters of privacy, he will probably face capital punishment. The alleged killer did not name a motive for the slaying. the prosecution follows through with the death penalty and it is swiftly applied, the single father leaves behind his sole daughter Edna who has been put under the custody of Dr. Horatio Marcel, the head of the local asylum for the mentally ill. <laughs> Non-smoker goes missing in petting zoo. <laughs> what? 
Walk to out. Walk to out. Please walk to out. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. No. It may all just be a blatant lie, but it is a hint regarding my father's past nonetheless. We already read it though. Oh, I grabbed it. I wanted to look at it first. Encyclopedia. Noun. One. A work treating the various branches of learning. Two. An alphabetical compendium of referential knowledge. See also dictionary. Lexicon. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Little more? No? The pen is mightier than the sword, but the mallet is mightier than the two combined. A masterpiece. That's definitely Dr. Marcel's distinct signature. Can you draw on it? Someone already signed this. Haha, <laughs> sure. One cup for a spelling bee and one for shooting clay discs. How sporting. Wow. Dang it! The pen doesn't write on glass. No. A fireplace. Source of coziness and warmth. I don't want to burn it. I could still use it somewhere. Yeah, I know. No. I'd feel like I'm sitting on Dr. Marcel's <sighs> lap. That's a good point. Ooh, that's a gross. Ooh. Sign to Eddie Confetti. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there. No. Oh no, open that up. Okay. Closed. That makes me angry. I didn't come here to tidy up. I can see our way to freedom clearly now. No, I don't want to ruin the view. Okay, let's see. Okay, Katie, is that this for no? The drawer is not screwed. The situation is. The drawer is just stuck. Huh. I don't know that you want to go out there right now. Yikes! Well, if it isn't Miss Edna, how did you manage to get out of your cell? Magic. That mini golf guy let me out. That mini golf guy let me out. <laughs> Babbit, he's getting less and less reliable. <laughs> Dr. Marcel will be frothing at the mouth when he comes back from town. Be that as it may, you're coming with me now. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! Don't you want to know how I can escape? It's not too late to become friends. <laughs> I want to talk to Dr. Marcel at once. Or ha, huh, never. Let's be friends. It's not too late to become friends. We are not your enemies, Edna. Will you stop erasing my memory and destroying my ego then? Oh. Um, <laughs> no. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> great okay. friends. What's that? Are you coming now? Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! Oh, you can use all of them. Oh, cool. I had to go to the bathroom and got lost. Oh, Come to Ulgor and I'll show you the way. The way back to your cell! Ha! 
Never. Don't you want to know? Sure. Let's see. I had help from the outside. <laughs> from whom, I might ask? Your dead father, maybe? Wow. My dad is dead? You might not remember everything, uh -huh. but this asylum is your home now. It has been for a long time. Come here. I'll put you safely back in your cell. Ha! Never! What do you know about my father? Besides him being a murderer? Those are lies. I eavesdropped on you. Listen, sweetheart. Your father was a murderer. He admitted his guilt, and he was sentenced. That's all you need to know. Blasphemy. Don't you want- Sure! I possess secret powers. One step closer and I'll turn you into a bulldog. Oh, yeah? Booga! It worked! I didn't know I had it in me. Quit this nonsense <laughs> and get over here already. I'll put you back in your cell. <laughs> Never! Don't you want to know? Sure. What's the last one? My ragdoll rabbit temple morphed me to the past. That's where I learned to use my super toenails as a multi-tool. <laughs> You've always been very resourceful. It's a shame not much of that will be left. Once Dr. Marshall's therapy begins to work, come on now, I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! I want to talk to Dr. Marcel at once. The doctor is out. You can talk to him as soon as he's back. Until then, you'll be put back in your cell. Never! As you wish. We might as well wait here. Even if it takes all day long, I've got plenty of time. Um, can I throw this book at him? Would you like to read something? Are you trying to make fun of me? <laughs> I might not look like it, but I read a lot during my spare time. Okay. Oh yeah? Like what? Tolstoy? Hemingway? Voltaire, Beatrix Potter. <laughs> now you've just given yourself away. Those are all just made up names. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um I won't even try that. Why not? Mm. Hey. A polo mallet. Oh, yeah. Champ, who the champ? Edna. <laughs> Say it louder. Edna. Okay. Did we just leave him there? I should get rid of Holger first. Come on, we can clean up later. No. Somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? <laughs> How do you know if it's it? Pick up Holgorn? Yes. I should get rid of him. Out the window. But where to put him? Ah, I know. The cabinet. I still like the window better. But... You should maybe lock him in there. The more broken the chair leg, the less stable the ideas. No, you have to lock, you lock it with the... Fine. But he'll get out. Mm. 
Anyway, I'm gonna pause here for now and we'll continue later. Um, I hope you enjoyed this this game so far. Um, I really like playing it. Um, it's a lot of fun. The soundtrack is great. The art is quirky and I love it. Um, and they are hilarious. They're very funny. Um, the German is a lot longer. <laughs> they say a lot. They just use words. It's a lot longer from my memory. I haven't played it in a really long time. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll play this for later. Yay. Bye.